On this trip down memory lane, we encounter a treasure box that belonged to my mother when she was a little girl. You can see it's black lacquerware, Japanese style, has a lovely dragon on the front, all faded. I don't know if this was maybe a shiny gold or something, but it certainly has some gilded eyes there on this dragon, and that was probably a fiery red. And the edge pieces were brass, and as you can see, they were probably once really, really shiny. This may have been given to her for a birthday or for graduation, because there's some things in it from graduation from high school inside. And let's take a look at that. Now, this may have been put there by her parents, who probably gave this to her, just as a sign of love, because they were Catholic and uh, not uber-religious, but they did follow Catholicism, as most people did who, who were born in the uh, early 1900s, who are of that ilk. Um, my mom was born in 1927, and uh, inside here we find some of what she considered treasures. Uh, this little plaster in Paris cast head of an Indian chief um, is painted probably not by her because she was a pretty good artist, though she might have, but it looks like the things. She was my den mother in scouting when I was a kid, and every week we would almost always have a, a plaster of Paris to cast and paint a uh, little pipe cleaner on the back. It's a neckerchief uh, uh, tie, a clasp to hold it there. That's the most recent thing in here. The other stuff dates more back, uh, a little farther. This was a Christmas present that she had made for a display for a little miniature tree using fabric and some tape, which is now all yellowed and no longer sticky. But she was very crafty in that way. Uh, over here is a little boot that uh, is actually made out of leather. And I don't know what it was for. I know that she was part of the um, marching band at her high school, and maybe that had something to do with that. There's no kind of insignia on the bottom. Um, here's just, she liked to collect rocks. She collected rocks with my, my dad. Um, got divorced when I was about a year old. When they were courting, they uh, collected rocks. And uh, this is probably one of the ones she found. She liked it, I suppose, because of all these little pock marks on it. Now, over here's her high school ring. Um, That's kind of cool. And uh, let's uh, see if I can get it to focus on this. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if it's up or down or which way it goes, but that that's from uh, her high school. I think it was a Fanger High or a Junior High Middle School. I don't know. One of them is Fanger. Here's a, a bell, and it's got an inscription on it for the Declaration of Independence. And I uh, can't quite read the, the bottom part there. But uh, it may have been for like the 150th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence, which would have been in uh, 1926, 1976 through, oh wait, through 1926, there it is. And so it was given to her probably by her parents because um, it was the, uh, she was born in 27. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Make our way through this. Um, football on a clasp from, I guess, her high school, which would be, according to uh, some other things in here, Finger High, I think it was. Anyway, um, she did go out on the field during the football games. One of her proudest moments was that she uh, got to march on the championship game. Uh, she got to march on Soldier Field, which was uh, uh, their you know professional, I think, uh, area that they had for their football in Chicago. Nice little earring with some Dazzles. I wish this would focus better. Should I get a better phone, guys? This is ridiculous. There we go. Okay. Um, moonstones. Lots of little moonstones here. Um, very pretty. And there's a, a bunch of them in here. I don't know why she had so many. I guess she just really liked those. I don't recall her being particularly fond of moonstones, but again, maybe it was something she found with my dad when they were out rock hunting in the early days. Very nice stuff. Um, a couple more earrings in here, which again have that kind of moonstone look at, to them. It's uh, something that she must have enjoyed. Maybe in her writings I'll learn more about that. Um, now this is interesting. This is a little tassel uh, earring. Um, yeah, had one of those earlier, and I guess we've got the set. Uh, all right, and so let's see what else. Way down in the corner. Oh, okay. 
Here's a Hershey's Kiss thing that says kisses, kisses, kisses. I don't know why she kept it. Maybe it had to do with her first kiss. Um, who knows? More Moonstone. And then a bunch of little uh, things like this. This is Fanger, Fanger High School, bowling, ping pong, uh, bicycling, and what is that last one? I can't quite read it. Roller skating. Okay, those are all things she did when she was back in Chicago when she was young. And then there's a bunch of little religious ones, too, little trinkets. I can't quite read all of them, but it's clearly a, a little Catholic thing. Uh, head of Christ. Okay, and uh, there's also one of these here, which if you flip it over, it says, uh, says uh, I am a Catholic in case of uh, accident, uh, notify a priest, <laughs> I guess, for last rites. Anyway, so these are all the things that were, nothing else in there, that belonged to my mom and her special little childhood uh, treasure box. I don't know how uh, often she put things in or had more treasure boxes, I guess. I found a few things that are probably such. But uh, these were her specials, and I imagine over the years she stopped and enjoyed them and looked at them and took them out and handled them just as I have here. But uh, alas, those days are gone. But the memories, some of them I know, some of them have been able to be uh, recorded here. And so it was so important to her in her life, at least those stories of our family have not been lost.